Uh, my name is Kelsey Bulkin. I live in Los Angeles. I am a musician, producer, songwriter, artist. I never know what to say to that, to that question. I was raised like that. I I'm glad I didn't grow up in LA. Maybe that sounds kind of rude, but I, I think this is a kind of a crazy place. Where I grew up was like a surf town, especially in the 90s. It was like new age, uh, hippies, people weren't aware of a lot of what was going on around the world. But I feel like growing up there, it's affected my mind and it's affected like how I approach life. You should know that thunder can take you under. My destiny is wrapped up in sort of the spirit of California. It's a powerful place and it's a paradise. It's also a bubble, it's also an escape but it's a place where people transform themselves and they experiment and they implement new ideas. And I think that that has always been really deeply inside of me. The reason I have music and I feel like it has to do something with like starting to really dive deeper into the stories of California. When the waves came to touch my body. Well, right now I'm working completely on a debut EP, my own music and this has been like two years in the making because I started this when I was pregnant with my first child. And I was terrified of losing myself to motherhood. Totally terrified. Everyone has to make their own choices. For, for me, um, I knew that I didn't ever want to leave my music behind and I didn't want to take a break. And I knew that it, it's not like it would be a choice. It would just be that it would be not a priority, right? So unless I forced it to be a priority for myself and stayed disciplined, I mean, anybody who has a child knows that like, they take up every part of you. And like, it's harder than a job because a job has like a shift. Motherhood is like all day and all night. So you're like, <laughs> it's like around the clock. But I think because I was like, I don't want to lose my music. I don't want to give up on that. So I basically set a goal that I was like, I'm gonna prove to myself that I can do this. Um, and I didn't give up on it. It took longer than I wanted, but even that's been a really good lesson. The only thing that can ever stop something from happening is if you give up, you know? And if it's really worthwhile, it, it doesn't matter how long it takes. And that's something I've learned. I can't see for I think having a son has, yeah, made me think about raising him. There's a voice in me that says like the best, the best way I can show him or teach him is by showing him like what I, who I am. And in um, making this music, I've spent time away from him. It was hard, but I forced myself and I also forced kind of both him and me and both of us in our relationship to like, for him to see that my work was important and that I wasn't putting, I wasn't making it um, secondary. We're very close, nothing has suffered. And I think if anything, he's gained this, like he loves the things I love. He mimics the discipline that I have. He follows like if I'm independent, he acts independent too. Like it's very interesting. It's teaching me a lot about how like I set the pace. And, and then also I think I'm providing this early model for him of like a, a woman that is working, sure, but it's deeper than that when you're an artist. You're not working, you're self-realizing and you're, you're taking, you're like betting on yourself, you know, and you're being like, I'm gonna do this thing that's never been done and nobody's, helping me do it. And um, I like that he's watching me do that because I feel like that'll be like his understanding of what a woman can do. Oh, I, no, I can't tell you. I'm the expert on my life. I'm the expert on my destiny. I find that to be the solution to like most questions that I find myself asking. You know more about your situation and what you need than anybody. And once you just remind yourself that, everything else is very clear. Hey.